Mom, will Dr. Sturgis be coming over again? Oh, um, I don't know. He should. We had so much fun talking about the mental hospital, we barely got to talk about science. Well, I don't know what his plans are. Is Mima coming for dinner tonight? No, she is busy. With Dr. Sturgis? Maybe I can join them. All my fun facts make me a welcome addition to any dinner date. She's not going to be with Dr. Sturgis, sweetie. Then I don't understand why I can't invite him over. Your Mima and Dr. Sturgis are figuring out how their relationship is going to work now that he's back. Why does their relationship need to be any different? It's complicated. So we can't have him over? Sorry, it's just not a good idea right now. This isn't fair. I find the one person in Texas who understands me and now I'm not allowed to see him? Hello! Come in. So, uh, Connie is, uh, okay with my being here? Don't worry about it or, you know, mention it. Well, here's a pineapple. It's a symbol of hospitality dating back to the 1700s. Thank you. How tropical. Dr. Sturgis, hello. Hi. Ooh, did you know the pineapple is a symbol of hospitality? As a matter of fact, I did. You're welcome. How do relationships work for old people? When you were young, you didn't think old women looked hot. But now that you're old, do you? Well, that's a very interesting question. Can I speak I to you in the kitchen? Depends. Well, here he is. I've always found your grandmother to be very hot stuff. All right, let's go. But you can see her wrinkles, right? Why don't you take John to a bar or something? Why? Because the children don't need to hear about how attractive he finds their grandmother. Why don't you take him out? Fine. You make sure the kids take baths and get to bed. Oh, and Sheldon needs his fingernails trimmed. Hey, John, what do you say you and I go grab a beer? But we haven't cut open the pineapple yet. You boys go ahead. We'll eat the pineapple another time. But we haven't had a chance to talk about science. Ooh, can Sheldon come? Can I? No. Aww. Aww. I must admit, after the breakup I was worried, but now that Dr. Sturgis and Dad are friends, we'll be seeing even more of him. How do we see less of him? That is not nice. Sorry, but I'm on Mima's side. She got me a two-piece bathing suit. I didn't realize we were expected to take sides. No one needs to take sides. When Heather M's parents got divorced, she said it was like picking sides, but you get twice the presents. This isn't a divorce. And I'm sure Mima and Dr. Sturgis will still be friends. Heather M's parents aren't friends, but now she's got Barbie's dream house and the pink Corvette. Your father and I aren't getting a divorce. Is it difficult to see your mother go out with men who aren't your father? Wow, that's a big one. Um. I suppose it took some getting used to, but she's a grown-up, and even though Pop-Pop passed away, she deserves to be happy. Just so you know, I'd be happy with one American Girl doll. And we're done.